Good morning, happy Sunday, and welcome to our worship. I hope you guys had a fabulous week. I hope you are out of bed and sitting up, and I hope you had a wonderful time praising God with all of your hearts, and that now you are ready to look into God's word with me. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for your love and for your grace. Thank you for being with us and guiding us throughout the week, for keeping us safe and healthy. Lord, right now, we are honored to come before you to worship you and to learn more about you and to learn about your message. I pray that you help us to understand so that we can love you and so that we can serve our neighbors. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, you guys, last week we talked about how Judas betrayed Jesus by turning him in to the Jewish leaders for how many coins? For 30 silver coins. Remember, the Jewish leaders wanted to arrest Jesus for saying that he was God's son and for saying that he was the king of the Jews. Jesus told the Pharisees that being good on the outside, outside only, doesn't really count. But being good on the inside is what matters to God. And so today we're going to be talking about how uh, Jesus was arrested and that, and that he was led to, to have a trial. And, you know, those days were very scary and very sad for Jesus' followers. They wanted to follow him, but a lot of them were scared to follow him. And so they all either ran away, hid, or betrayed him like Judas did. You know, the Jewish leaders wanted Jesus to be sentenced to death for claiming to be God. So they took Jesus to Pontius Pilate. Pilate was the only one who could decide whether to put Jesus to death or not. Pilate asked Jesus to defend himself, but Jesus did not say a word. You know, at any time, Jesus could have stopped the trial and even his death, but he did nothing and he said nothing. He didn't do anything to defend himself in order to carry out God's will. Even though Jesus did not want to die, Jesus had to let it happen because it was all part of God's plan. Pilate knew that Jesus was innocent, but he was afraid of the people and he was not brave enough to let Jesus go. He let the people have their way. Can you believe that some of the same people who are praising Jesus as their king were now treating him like a wicked person? They decided that if Jesus really was God, then he would save himself from having to die. But you know, God's amazing plan was to save sinners like you and me by allowing his son to die on the cross for us. Why don't we um, open our Bible? So if you don't have your Bible with you right now, go ahead and put the video on pause and grab your Bible. And if you have your Bible, please open up to Matthew chapter 27. Matthew chapter 27 verses 26 to 31. Matthew chapter 27, verses 26 to 31. And here is what it says. Pilate let Barabbas go free, but he had J Jesus whipped. Then he handed him over to be nailed to a cross. The governor's soldiers took Jesus into the palace. All the rest of the soldiers gathered around him. 
they took off his clothes and put a purple robe on him. Then they twisted thorns together to make a crown. They placed it on his head. They put a stick in his right hand. Then they fell on their knees in front of him and made fun of him. We honor you, King of the Jews, they said. They spit on him. They hit him on the head with the stick again and again. After they had made fun of him, they took off the robe. They put his own clothes back on him. Then they led him away to nail him to a cross. It's very hard to imagine how this could be part of God's plan. But you know, Jesus made it very clear that God's plan was something that we did not expect. And you know, the Roman guards did not love God and they rejected Jesus. They beat him and they whipped him just as Pilate had ordered them to do. They also made a crown of sharp thorns and put it on his head and teased him by saying, Hail, King of the Jews! Of course, they didn't really believe that he was the king, but by saying that, they were teasing him. They were mocking him. And they crushed the thorny crown into his head and caused him to bleed. I cannot imagine how that would hurt him so bad. Not only that, but the beating and the whipping and the slapping and, and spitting on him. You know, the other day I hurt my uh, finger uh, with a little uh, sharp object and it hurt so much. Just one little prick in my finger hurt so much. And so I cannot imagine a thorny crown being crushed into Jesus's head. That must have hurt so bad. But still, guess what? Jesus showed them God's love by forgiving them and praying for them. You know, the Bible says, if you love God, then you will love others. And so if you don't love others, it may be that you really don't love God. And I know it's very hard to love others who mistreat us, right? It's very hard to love those who bother us, those who treat us badly. And that is why we need God's help. And that is why we need to try to be like Jesus every day. Every day is a new day. And every single day, we have to try and try again to be like Jesus. Otherwise, it's going to be very hard to love and to forgive and to pray for those that mistreat us. And Sometimes they don't even mistreat us. We just don't like certain people that just bother us, right? Who are annoying, right? But as Jesus, as our mentor, Jesus, as our example and model, we need to do the same as what Jesus did. So even though it's hard, you guys, every day you need to think about those that you may not like or you may even hate. Hate is a very strong word, but think about those that you really don't like and you need to ask God to help you to be like Jesus and pray for them and forgive them just like Jesus did. So um, I challenge you uh, that uh, if you can think of some people that you don't like very much, Let's pray for them this week and let's, God, let's ask God to help us to love them and to forgive them. Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much 
for teaching us about Jesus' love and forgiveness. How even though he was mistreated, he stayed quiet. He did not defend himself because he knew that your plan had to carry on. And so he was obedient to you by letting things happen. And he did it because he needed to die on the cross to save sinners like us. Lord, thank you for setting a great example for us how you, despite of mistreatment, how you still pray for them and forgave them. Lord, please help us to do the same. Sometimes, or even a lot of times, we get so annoyed and don't like some people sometimes. And I pray, Lord, that you help us to pray for them and to really decide in our heart to love them and forgive them. And we cannot do it with our own ability. We really need your help, Lord. I pray that you can help us to love and forgive those around us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Okay, you guys, so for your homework this week, I want you to think about the story that we talked about today and draw any part of the story and take a picture and send it to your teacher for a point. So you can draw about uh, the Jewish leaders taking Jesus to Pontius Pilate. You can draw about Pontius Pilate telling the, the Roman guards to beat him and whip him. You can draw about... Um, the Roman soldiers being really mean to Jesus, putting a thorny crown on his head. Uh, just think about the story today and just draw any part of the story and send that to your teacher. Okay, you guys, let's close our worship by doing the Lord's Prayer. Let's pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Okay, you guys, have a great, great week, and I'll see you next Friday. Bye, guys.